guys, welcome back to my vlog. Oh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, and today we're going to the most wonderful place of all, which is Chapters. So, I am doing like a challenge in a book store, which is why I want to come. And it's like, how many books can I get in one minute? I think it'll be fun. So, yeah. Let's see what we have. I won't be switching to my tablet because I'll be using the timer on my phone. But, um, yeah, so let's see what happens. There she is! I love this place too much. It's my second home. So here we are. This is where I'm gonna find something that I want and we'll go from here. I'll be switching to my camera and I'll see you guys later. Okay. Not focus. So I got one minute on the clock. Ready? Set? Go! Okay, I kinda want the rice of delicious. I know I have that. 52 seconds. Uh, let's go to the fiction side. 40 seconds. And time's up, by the way. I'm not really nervous. I've never used my camera in public. So I'm like really, really nervous. <laughs> okay, so I got my three. This is what I have within a one minute challenge. So, um, yeah, I guess we can head out. But look at all of these good books. Oh my gosh, I want all these books. Sadly, I think we are done here. There's so many good books. <laughs> I have been meaning to read that book, The Lipstick Fellow. But, um, yeah. Goods. So now let's go home and see what we got under the one. Wow, I cannot talk today. So let's see what we got under the one minute challenge. This was fun. But yeah, it cost me a bunch. But it was fun. So yeah. Also, I do want to point out that my video from Sunday got copyrighted. I mean, surprise, no. So. I don't disable the comments, that's the YouTube side, uh, but you should be able to comment. So yeah, you should be able to comment. I fixed that up. I don't disable the comments, that's the YouTube side. So my comments are always available to be turned on. But yeah, because of that music, I got copyrighted, so 
it got fixed. I just want to point that out. Okay, hi guys. So uh, I'm back on my shelf, and as you can see. So let's go ahead and see what we got from my one minute challenge. Okay, so my first book is Rise of the Delicious Princess by CJ Redwine. I don't know too much about it, so let's read together. So, Princess Chetty's Willow Thorn is the needful sword of Ch Salalia, raised to be worthless and cunning. Her only goal is to hold her war thorn war torn kingdom together long enough to find a path to one peace with the ancient form of Montevallo, even if the cost is her own heart. When violence, when violence erupts in the castle itself, nearly killing the queen, Charlie's must assume her mother's duties and manage both the war and her kingdom, but as an unseen enemy begins sinking Kalia's ships, Charlie's realizes a threat much greater than Montevallo come, is coming for her people. So she forms a plan. By day, she is Kalea's formidable princess, intent on forging an alliance with Montevallo. By night, she disguises herself as a smuggler and roams the sea with a trusted group of loyalists, hunting for the new enemies. And through it all, there's that one boy she can have, who guards her life but steals her heart. But her enemies are much closer than Chavez realizes, and her heart isn't the only thing she has left to lose. So, yeah, that's really interesting. And it's really so pretty, like, look at that. And it pretty, and look at this. It's so pretty, I love it. I actually love this color. So, and it's fun stuff, and this is what the color looks like. So, yeah. Okay, my next book is Daughters of Paris by Elizabeth Holmes. Again, I don't know what, uh, what any of these books are, so let just me know. A promise that binds them together, a war that pulls them apart. Childhood companions Fleur and Colette make a vow under the trailing ivy of the secret garden. That they will be secret sisters forever, but as they grow up, the promises of childhood are put to the ultimate test. For Colette is the daughter of the house, and her life is all jazz clubs, silk dresses, and chilled champagne, while Fleur is the orphan niece of the housekeeper, and doesn't feel like she belongs anywhere. Years later, in 1939, life as they know it will never be the same. As the German tanks roll in and Paris becomes an occupied city, the promise they made as children will, never, will have consequences they could never imagine. Oh, that feels sad. Aww. Yeah, and then start as a pair is. I never really feel sad. Okay, and the last one is The Perfumist of Paris by Alka and George C. I summary, I'm sorry if I said it wrong. And this is, ooh, look at these pages. I mean, look. I can't, I don't know what they're called, like these type of pages, but they're really nice. I think they also have something similar. It's also something similar for this book as well, like this, if you can see. And this is Clementra by Costana uh, Casati. Casati, I think that's how you say it, and that's what it is. But I bought this book a, a while back, so that's not part of my challenge. But anyways, let's get with this book. Um, Paris, 1974. Nadha is now 32 and living in Paris with her husband, Pierre, and their two daughters. She still grieves for the baby boy she gave up for years ago, when she was only a child herself, but she loves being a mother to her daughters, and she's finally found her passion, the treasure trove of sense. When her friend's, when her friend's grandfather offered her a job at his perfumer, she quickly discovered she had a talent. She could find a perfect fragrance for any customer who walked through the door. Now, ten years later, she is working for a master perfumer, helping to design completely new fragrances for clients and building her career one cent at a time. She only wishes Pierre could understand her need to work. She feels his frustration, but she can't give up the thing she, that drives her. Tasked with her first major project, Radha travels to India, where she enlists the help of her sister, Lakshmi, Lakshmi and the consignor, and the courtesans of Agra, 
woman who uses the power of language to induce tease and entice. She is on the cusp of, of a break room when she finds out the star she never told her husband about is heading to Paris to find her, appending her carefully managed role and threatening to destroy a vulnerable marriage. Yeah, so, this one's really, really cool. I'm excited for this. Okay, those are the books I have picked up in my one minute challenge. Let me know if you like these kind of challenges. I will make more. These are fun to make. So please comment, like, and subscribe so that you'll be notified every time you post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!